Hello YouTube, I'm the world's strongest man and I'm firing the world's most powerful handgun. Oh, God f***ing hell. I think it's fair to say you've probably got every gun there is to own, you've got it. Just about, yeah. <laughs> I've been in his, uh, his secret shed and it's, it's just insane. Like, if a zombie apocalypse ever happens, I'm flying to Kentucky and You're more than welcome in that hang scenario, yeah, 100%. Yeah. I'm just going to give you a machete though. Two of them, <laughs> yeah. duct tape them to your hand, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, this is a fraction of, of what I've seen, but today it's going to be Will's strongest man, me, fires the Will's most powerful handgun. Looking at these, it's uh, they're big. I mean, you're gonna have a good time. Look at the size of that, it's as big as my head. <laughs> Talking through it, Scott, we, we're sort of going from a smaller grain bullet, smaller caliber, yes, working our way up. I'd say this is the biggest sort of caliber is it the, the magnum 500 oh well yes and no that's the uh biggest production handgun caliber they make right but there are some uh, revolvers out there that people have decided to make into some oddball calibers like say this one at the end here this is actually chambered in an elephant gun round right this fires a 375 h&h magnum so okay. that one right there is uh i would say technically more powerful but when it comes to recoil 500 Magnum is going to be the snappiest on you. Uh, that's your bear kit edition with a two and three quarter inch barrel. This one hurts, but you'd be surprised that out of all these up here, these big intimidating looking guns, I think this little guy is probably going to hurt you the most. Really? Yes, this, this little dude right here. It doesn't loot much. All right, so that's an American Derringer. Yeah. And uh, it those typically fire like a nine mil, a 45. Uh, this is chambered in a 4570, which is a, a lever action rifle round. Yeah, so it's not far off magnum power then. Mm -hmm. And it's just a little pocket pistol. Uh, you're going to have a really fun time hanging on to that. Right. Uh, I'm okay. excited to see you shoot that one. Let's, let's get to it. Let's do it. Scott, what's the first gun? What's like the smallest, lightest one? Going to be the 357 Magnum. This is uh, Smith & Wesson, but this is a 1.5 inch barrel. I actually believe it's a little shorter than that. Yeah. So it's a little snappy. Okay. And then uh, we got 158 grain uh, jacketed hollow points there for you. Yeah. So just for the viewer's pleasure, the bigger the grain of the bullet, the more bang and the more... Yeah, most time, the, the bigger the bullet, the bigger the case, the more gunpowder you can put in it. Yeah the more powerful it's gonna be, the more fun it is. As soon as you pull the trigger, it's double action where you can pull the trigger or you can just pull the hammer back. Nice. You hit it. I hit one. That's all you need, right? Yeah, yeah, Three, yeah. Seven magnum, it's all right. All right, okay. let's uh, step it up, right? Got some kick, that is. So this is a 44 magnum. And that's a Smith & Wesson. That's a uh, two and a half inch barrel. I'm gonna give you two of these. These are 340 grain plus P 44 Magnums. Uh, this is something you would carry around for bear protection. Right, bear protection. Yeah, so it's um, it's gonna be kicking. I told you. Wow. That one's kicking. So this would be the step up. Yeah. Those are 300 grain jacketed hollow points, and you'll be shooting the Ruger Super Red Hawk Alaska. Something you would carry for protection from large animals. That's why I named it the Alaskan. Really cool gun. One of my favorites. I don't know if your wrist is going to like it, though. <laughs> Is that common for you guys? If you go out in the woods, you carry a gun for protection from bears and stuff? Not here, uh, but if you were in some different parts of Kentucky, there are some bears. Oh, wow, okay. Oh my God. So was that worse? Than that the one that you, was worse. You've got skin on here. Look at this. It's like his calluses are chipping off oh. on the... Yeah, look, it's it is oh. literally taking the skin off my hand. He's not going to be able to eat his burger later. It's, oh. it's, he's going to... I think you're going to be a little sore by the end of the day. Man. So the Desert Eagle. Yes. I don't know if you'll remember, but do you remember the very first Resident Evil game? Oh yeah. And yeah. Barry had the, the Desert Eagle. Yes. It was like the baddest, baddest gun in the game. Very cool gun. 
Yeah. Really, out of everything we're firing here, the Desert Eagle is kind of small. Yeah. Uh, what's funny is, you know, once you start getting these larger guns, you can't get more power out of a, a semi-auto than you can a revolver. Right. Because of the revolver, you can't get your case as long, so your hand grip ends up being so big you couldn't even hold it. Right. But that's still, that's Desert Eagle. This is comparable to 44 Magnum. It's yeah. going to be more than 44 Magnum. So more than this little guy, but you have seven rounds. Nice. Now. <laughs> what do you think about that? That's pretty cool. Man. I've always wanted to shoot Desert Eagle. Uh, this is a Smith & Wesson 460 Magnum, and this is the bear kit. This came in like a little orange case mm -hmm. with everything you'd need for bear protection. Right, okay. And it's a two and three quarter inch barrel. So it's as short as you can go in a semi-automatic or a double action revolver. 360 grain hard cast, so. Uh, it looks like a monster. It's shoots a tube of chapstick there. It's, wow. that's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that was you shot earlier was 44 Magnum and it was actually shooting about the same bullet weight. Mm. So you can tell there's a pretty big difference in the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot more gunpowder in that. <laughs> What'd you think about that? Some kick oh. in that, man. <laughs> Jesus, I hurt your wrist. Yeah. So now we're gonna step it up to uh, 500 Magnum. This is as big as you can get. And these are actually my own Underwood Ammo Kentucky Ballistics. So they're, they're green and they are 600 grains. They are absolutely massive. I'm gonna have you shoot it out of this little guy here. So that is this, this is the same gun you just shot, except this one's 500 Magnum. Uh, bigger in diameter, Big right. bigger bullet weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you shot a 360 grain bullet. Yeah. This is 600. Right, okay. And more gunpowder. So pretty much double the double the bang for buck. It's gonna kick you harder. Yeah. Okay. Take it like a fing out. <laughs> you and the bear both are gonna be in pain yeah. if you have to use it. <laughs> this is a breech loading single shot pistol that is chambered in 375 H&H Magnum, which is a safari cartridge for large game. Yeah, yeah. Still not gonna kick you as much as that, but it'll be fun. Can we try this one? Oh yeah. So that's that's like the one of the biggest, that's dubbed as the biggest manufactured, most powerful handgun. These are the same. Yeah. They shoot the same bullet. Yeah. But this is just your longer barrel. So this is actually more powerful, do you think, because of the... Well. If you're getting to, to so power, this is going to give you more velocity because yeah. your barrel's longer. Right. Um, this is just going to kick you a lot harder. The only reason this even exists is so you can carry it around yeah. easier, like in the woods and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. I mean, I'm not going to lie, man. That was just as bad. <laughs> that was just as bad. Just as bad, huh? Yeah. I I think we should just go ahead and have you shoot the Derringer while okay. you still got some hand left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I think this one's going to hurt you more than anything you've shot. Okay. Or the horse flies. The horse flies. Yeah, the horse flies, flies are hurting hurt. a lot. This is the American Derringer, but you're shooting this 4570 yeah. rifle cartridge. This is a 300 grain. Yeah, you don't have a whole lot to hang on to. Again, this is called the Alaskan supposed to be for protection against large animals honestly i would just probably try to run yeah yeah try to shoot this <laughs> 45 70 just that's a big bullet there. for such a little gun <laughs> it really is i would recommend you hang on to this with both hands really and squeeze it with everything you have i'm i'm completely serious okay i don't i think you can shoot with one hand but i just want you to know what you're getting into first oh he's going one-handed already yep. rip it hard 
fucking out! Oh, oh you <laughs> Oh. Mike, let's draw blood on my knuckle. Oh no. <laughs> we broke him. We broke the world's strongest man. <laughs> well, um, you were right. You were right. That was the most evil one out of all of them. <laughs> I told you. This one here, I dread shooting this one. It's it's just so mean. So that's more of like a, a, a very easy to conceal weapon, isn't it? Yeah, like this is going to go in your pocket really easy. I think if you had this in your pocket, you would probably want to negotiate with somebody before you had to shoot that. You're like, come on, man. This is, yeah, this please from. don't make me shoot you. But this really <laughs> was uh, going to hurt you. <laughs> this really was intended, though, for like um, protection against like a bear. Yeah. You have it in your pocket. That's all you got left. And you shoot. Yeah. Maybe. Hope for the best. Maybe, yeah, it works out. Maybe not. But uh, otherwise, it's just a fun party trick, you know? I, Bring your big friends out and have them shoot it. I feel like I should shoot one of these just, just so I can try it. Yeah, absolutely. This one? I'm going to give you this one. Okay. The worst is over. You, uh, you don't got anything else to worry about now. So, yeah, so this is a MOA breech loading pistol. It's actually pretty unique. It's really cool. So, it shoots this. <laughs> yeah, that's a 375 H&H &H Magnum. This is on the smaller end of safari cartridges. Like if you were going to go to Africa, this would be the smallest thing you could legally hunt with there. Right. I'm going to warn you, the trigger on this is stupid light. Light. Very light. Like as soon as you touch it. Yeah. As soon as you, it's ready to shoot. As soon as you touch that trigger, it's going off. Okay. Like it's, it's very light. Oh, God. How? Oh my God, are you okay? Yeah, you said that was light. Well, I mean, <laughs> compared to the other ones. It's probably because my hand's so weak I, and battered from we've, the previous. We've kind of beat it up. Like this would be like your uh, your burnout set now, you know, like you've already maxed out, man. You're you're fried. Did you see Scott then? It was like I dropped one of his children. <laughs> and I was like, no. no. Yeah, I was like, turn your hand down, you dropped my gun. I'm so sorry, I man, know. I couldn't help it. No, it's all good, oh, man. Days. It's just a one of a kind gun that'll. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, they don't make any more or anything. Oh my god. Well, I don't know about you, but I think uh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna call it. Yeah, I'm calling it. <laughs> <laughs> when, when the guns start flying out of your hands, like oh, we're gonna call it. I think I did pretty good. Is it? No, you did not, great. Not normal um, people to shoot that one. Out no, of. um, you went through the gauntlet, man. Mm -hmm. Um, that was literally the worst things you could shoot one handed, and you did them all in a row. Yeah. Uh, oh. Some would call you mentally unstable for doing that. Thank you. Um, yeah. Thank you very much. I, I say you're a part of the Risk Breakers Club now for sure. Nice. Well, the risk yeah. is fine. My knuckle's probably broken. Yeah. So, uh, you uh, you going to write me a check or what do you think? <laughs> it landed right there on the butt. You literally dropped it the best way you possibly could. There we be. go then. I am, uh, I'm really glad to have given you that experience. Thank you. It was fun to watch you do it. That was fun. Can we shoot one of the guns and let's shoot a melon or something? I just want to see something go bang. I, yes. I'd like to shoot the 500 Magnum and just see something just go bang. Just Are you going to drop it? No. Two hands. What do I get if you drop it? Uh, I'll, I'll ship the tank over there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. For your viewing pleasure, we're going to explode this melon. All right, ready? All right, here we go. You can imagine, so that's I, that's why your hand hurts so bad. I was about to say, but like if it does that to a melon, what would it do to a human body? Mm. Pretty pretty much the same. I've done some videos with uh, the zombie torso, and yeah. it's pretty brutal. Yeah, it literally blows it up like that. Well, your skin and muscles are more elastic, -y, you know, and it'll hold together yeah. better. But yeah, you bloof and then come back together. <clears throat> yeah. It's pretty I've bad. Been hit by a sledgehammer and putting a hole through mm -hmm. you. Yeah, you're looking time. at 2,300 foot pounds of energy in a handgun. Yeah, so yeah. it's a lot. But you know now, you know it's a lot. You got, yeah. you took it all. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Big shout out to Scott from Kentucky Ballistics. Make sure to go give him a follow, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit subscribe and like on mine. Thanks for watching. Big Love the Beast. Take care.